Apocalypse. What is up guys and gals, gals and guys, Space Unicorn are bringing some hot frag action. Today guys, what we're going to be doing is we are doing the Red Shadow event. This is the newest character for Frag Pro Shooter. I want to tell you guys some basic tips for how to win this, if you guys are struggling. And also, just my thoughts on the character so far. So with that being said, we're going to get into this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And maybe there'll be some at the end. We'll find out. Alrighty guys, so this is a draft event as always. The rules are very, very simple. Wow, reach a win streak at 12 to unlock Red Shadow. Uh, all cards are level 9. You will have Red Shadow in your deck every two battles. Ooh, fancy. Uh, frenzy mode. Fast paced battles with double damage. Walk through the pass response. Ah. Alright, so for those of you guys who don't know, I have already done my 12 matches. Um, I've explained why I do this this way because I lag like crazy. And if I do my 12 matches, I've already won the card. And then I can really focus on talking with you guys. So, let's get in here. We're going to play some matches here. We're going to talk about how this one. First thing you're going to want to do, anytime you go to one of these events, make sure you have a good Wi-Fi signal. This is super important. Frag is very unstable. And that really helps. Now, let's get into a match real quick. Alright, so things we're going to be looking for. We're going to be looking for cards that give us advantage. Now, these are any cards that I play extremely well that I think I can face any card in the game with. Like, boom, okay. My lineup kind of sucks. But we have our Red Shadow. Um, so basically what I did at the beginning of that match, guys, is I looked to see which cards I had that I may be able to play that will help me in facing my opponent. One down. Another one over here somewhere. These guys just got. I've got real, like. Really, like, I have very little attack pressure. Um, but. These guys are really weird. Like, to be honest. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be a rough one, boys. Apparently, I just got Hades exalted. Very confused. Okay. Yeah, I really have very, very, very little attack pressure. And that's not good. Not enough attack pressure on this one, boys. Hopefully we can get some towers down here and float. Um, so basically what we did here, guys, is we were looking for the cards that were going to help us. And we were looking for cards that gave us some form of an advantage. Realistically, this guy's lineup is a lot better than mine. How, how does mine not stun him, but he gets me? That doesn't make sense. We're gonna put this wall right here. And we're just gonna wait. He has a much more aggressive lineup than I do. I have an okay defensive lineup. And that should allow us to do what we need to do. Shit. <laughs> it's all theory until we actually do it. First customer. Works. It should take care of some burrow bombs too. It does. Awesome. Let's shoot this. There are cards over there. I'm literally on full defense. <laughs> Honestly, let's see. He's trying to get, but I got Buck, who's just like having a grand old time over here. 
<laughs> mm. Hey, we won. Yeah, so basically all we did there, guys, was we looked at our lineups, we saw that we had a Red Shadow, we saw that we had a Cyber Cop, we saw a Polka. Um, really wanted to play this Sombrero Mines for the combo. Very, very simple and effective way to minimize your opponent's ability. And honestly, by giving up a tower there, we maximized our ability to use our uh, Cyber Cop. I hate these gold skins. Uh, there's a reason I don't have a single gold skin. Just saying. Another one coming in me. Yeah. There we go. Rick Rock got a tower. When did that ever happen? I'm gonna try to come right here. Yep. Do, 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 do. And same thing here, guys. All we've done is maximize our ability to do damage. We know which cards are gonna give us that advantage, which cards are gonna put us in a position where we can do stuff like that. Man, he's down two towers and not playing defense. This game's as good as over. I'm just gonna go up here and la di da di da. Parking on a tower, never a good thing. Yeah. 75 damage is no joke. Um, so, you don't understand the first thing. The second thing you want to do with these events, guys, is knowing your cards. Um, if you don't know all the cards in the game, you will find yourself in occasions where you really struggle with the lineup that you are given. Um, because you're not guaranteed good cards. Very, very simple and very, very straightforward. Sometimes you get good cards, sometimes you don't. But on those times you don't, at least by knowing those cards, you can put yourself in a position where you can be annoying for your opponent. And my lineup is not built to compete with his. Ugh. I just... All right, well, we're going to go for it. That Andromeda is the only card that he has that I'm really worried about because Andromeda, Andromeda's death. It really is. I have a virus. Like, I don't want virus. Virus is just not that, not that card. This is a race right now. I don't like that at all. Alright, we stalled. What? Are you serious? Like, seriously? My cards are kind of trash. I ain't gonna lie. All right, we got him trickling in a little bit now. Let's take it to Cashy though. Of course, you're just gonna hang back. Oh man, I don't. How did I just get one shot there? Going for it, boys. We got a sneaky push. Sneaky push got through for the win. <laughs> His lineup was better than mine, but I knew my cards better than he did. <laughs> I'm 
sometimes that's the way it goes. Anyways guys, so those are basically just three very simple tips you can do to help increase your chances of winning these events. Um, take your time with these events, don't rush. Um, if you don't understand the cards and you really are kind of uncomfortable, wait till the last day of the event. A lot of the really good players will grind it in the very beginning. Um, that's just kind of the way it goes. So if you aren't ready for that, be patient and wait. I understand it's a new card, I know you want them right away, but help yourself to raise your percentage of completion this event. Uh, we're going to do one more match, guys, and then we're going to call it. Uh, I actually got a good lineup for this one. A really good lineup. Very good player build. behind me. <laughs> Alright, grab a little help. Just chilling, having a good old time, heading over here. Looks like a nice little picnic area. Don't mind little old me. Little 360. And up top to the main tower. Anyways, guys, this has been Tips and Tricks for completing the Red Shadow event. I hope you guys know it. I hope you find these tips useful in winning the card. Have a good one, guys. Stay safe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye, everybody.